welcome back to my channel. It's Erica with Tiny Acorn. So today's video, I am introducing a new series for you guys that I'm so excited about. It is called Rework Your Wardrobe. The reason I started this series is because I wanted to show you guys some really creative ways to rework the items that you already have in your current wardrobe. Although it is great and it's fun to get a new piece, you might actually have some great stuff already in your wardrobe that with a little tweaking um, or maybe seeing it through a new eye can help you reimagine the piece. So for today's video, what we're gonna do is I am going to pick out three pieces from my wardrobe that I have been kind of struggling with styling and then style them up and shoot those looks for you guys so you can see kind of like what my thought process is behind putting the outfits together. And then I invited my friend Kristen to come over. She's actually a classical harpist and a stitch fix stylist. And she is going to style the pieces in her own way. Um, I'm not gonna give any input. I'm simply gonna put on what she tells me to put on. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I think that it will be really cool to see her different perspective and get some new ideas for these pieces that I've been struggling with styling. This is something that you can also do with your friends, make it fun, get, buy some wine, some cheese, or some tea and crackers and invite your friends over or maybe just a close friend and they don't have to have the same style as you either. It's actually better if they don't because then they'll see things a little bit differently than you do. So share with them some pieces that you've been maybe struggling to style and see what they would pair with that piece from your own wardrobe. Try it on, see if you like it, you might be surprised. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe, ring that bell down below and that way you won't miss a single video. Okay, first item that I chose is this amazing vintage leather jacket with the fur on the collar, although I think this is faux fur. But the reason that I chose this was because I wanted to get some more ideas for how to style it. I feel like it can go costumey kind of easily just because it's such an amazing standout 70s piece. I haven't worn it since I got it and so it'll be interesting to see how my outfit evolves with this piece and to see how Kristen's turns out as well. Okay, so my first thought when styling this coat up was that because the leather is so dark, I was thinking of styling it with some darker jeans. So I put on these mom jeans in a dark wash by the brand Mott & Bow. They actually gifted them to me. I think that it'll probably go pretty well with the color of the coat. Okay, so for a top, I was leaning towards this guy right here. Here's the blouse on, and now a moment of truth. Hey, not bad. So I do like how this looks together, and now I just need to pick out the right shoe. So I'm leaning towards the Cezanne boot. I think that could be really cute with the brown and the brown and it ties in together. Okay, I think it works. Yeah, I think it ties in together nicely. Okay, so I grabbed my La Bouvette bag because I wear this all the time and I just like how it has this kind of like casual feel with this like could be kind of fancy coat. Okay, so the second piece I'm going to style up is these wide leg white pants. I got these when I did my collab video with Beth and we went thrifting for summer wedding looks. But these pants, they're so voluminous and they're just a little bit difficult for me to style. So I was going to try to see if I could put together a more 
fall inspired look today and um, and then we'll see what Kristen does with these when she comes over. All right, so with these white pants, my thought was to pull in some white in the shirt that I put on. So I'm leaning towards this little knit blouse that I got in Paris. Um, and if that doesn't work, I was thinking maybe this Zara blouse that I got from ThreadUp. Okay, so I have the first blouse on here and I kind of like it. I probably style it with this, but I feel like it's just kind of cold. This is a cold outfit for the season. So I think I might switch to the other red Zara blouse. Okay, I think I like this better. It's a little bit warmer. Um, I kind of don't know where to go from here. So I think I'm just going to try to find a second layer, maybe a denim jacket. Um, but I kind of like the idea of wearing something like really long over the top of this. So maybe my denim trench. That could be cool. Okay, I really like this. It's actually making the pants look more like a skirt than pants. But I just like the long lean line of the denim. All right, I put on my Nike Cortez that I thrifted in my thrift guide to Nashville. Go watch it if you haven't. I like how this outfit is coming along. I definitely think that I want to do like a bright red lip to tie in with the shirt. Okay, so I put on my, one of my favorite lipsticks. It's NYX. The color is Morocco, but I haven't been able to find this color in the stores lately, so I don't know if they discontinued it or not. So to top it off, I paired it with my Robert's Western World bag. I got this tote when we were in Nashville, and this was the best honky-tonk that we went to, so I had to get one of these cute totes. All right, so the last piece I'm gonna style up is these Everlane boots. They're so awesome and I love the color, but I've been kind of struggling with styling them, which is actually, it really surprised me because I love red so much, but I feel like I'm not sure if I can pair these with anything red in my wardrobe because most of the red in my wardrobe is a little bit different shade. Um, and so yeah, I'm gonna to try to style them up today. Okay, so and I'm leaning towards maybe styling it up with this coat that I got from Levi's um, or maybe this green ASOS coat. So since my patterns video, um, I'm kind of inspired to use a gingham. By the way, if you haven't watched that, go check it out. So I was thinking maybe like a black and white gingham shirt underneath the coat, maybe some black jeans or like my black wide leg pants. So I have on the boots my Everlane wide leg crop pants and this gingham blouse that I thrifted. So now I'm going to try on the coat. It seems a little bit too busy to me because the print on this gingham is like really really small and then the plaid on the jacket seems pretty small too. So I think I need to either switch out the shirt or switch out the coat. Okay, uh, now I need to just find a bag. Okay, so I threw on my Greek fisherman's hat at the last minute and I grabbed this bag and I think the look is complete. because I do have a few pieces in my wardrobe that I've been like struggling with styling. Mm -hmm. You know, with your experience being a stylist for Stitch Fix, I felt like I could trust you to Aww. kind of have a different perspective and help me kind of reimagine my clothes and my wardrobe so that I can see things in a different way and get some new fresh ideas. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Okay, so this is the first piece that I'm going to have you style up and um, I already styled this up 
actually all of these I already styled up okay. before you got here. And so I just wanted to see how you would style it differently. Cool. Excited to see what you do with oh, yeah. this. This is really cool. Yeah, it yeah. was a vintage piece that I got in my uh, thrift guide to San Francisco. Oh, perfect. Video. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so okay. Kristen's gonna take a look at my wardrobe and pull some pieces and put something together for me. And so I really like this 1970s feel of it. So I was thinking of, with the color palette, it would look good with like, mustard or olive to kind of tie in that 70s theme. So I thought it might look really cute with this little mustard yellow dress. And then possibly maybe with or without tights. You could even do like a burgundy colored tight with that or you could just do um, with some little boots. So actually I think we're going to tie in the burgundy rather than with tights with these little little boots or burgundy kind of plum to really tie together the fall colors. Yeah I think that would be our look. I actually wanted you to help me restyle this dress too, but I didn't pull it as one of the pieces, so I'm glad you chose it. Oh, perfect! So, I mean, if we wanted to go all fall colors, we could tie in this really awesome, like, little tortoiseshell handbag. It's a completed outfit. Alright, so this is the second piece I want you to style yeah. for me. These are some vintage, really super wide leg pants. Oh, cool. So I'd love to see how you would style these. I already styled them up. Okay. And um, so yeah, Kristen's going to help me style these awesome. now. Awesome. <laughs> First thought for them was actually to sort of emulate like a two-piece set. So I was going to look at some of these white blouses. I kind of wanted to do like a cropped link just because you know, it's kind of a voluminous waistband here, so I thought the crop would actually show it off really nicely. So let's see what we have here. Not quite as short as I want. I think this one will work really well. I think it's about the right length. The whites are pretty similar, even a similar kind of material. So yeah, let's give it a shot. <laughs> um, okay, so since this outfit is pretty summery, I was thinking maybe some like little sandals, espadrilles, heels, things like that. Um, I wish I owned espadrilles. Oh yeah, that would be really <laughs> good. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think let's do these ones. Try to tie it in. I was kind of going back and forth and I decided that I really like these ones. Since we did the tan shoes, I thought these would be really cute to tie in that color um, for earrings. You know, I really like this one maybe. Either this little vintage straw purse or if we were gonna stick within our color palette, I thought this one would be really cute too. So. All right, so we decided on this little bag. I thought with the white, I do love a good monochrome outfit, but I thought this just added a little bit more variety. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have the earrings. Your survivor earrings. Yes, beautiful. I'll link these below. Perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so the last piece that I want you to help me style are these super cute boots from Everlane. Those are an amazing color. I love those. Yeah, I actually find the color to be kind of challenging mm -hmm. though because I like I love red, mm -hmm. but most of the red in my wardrobe is a cool tone red oh. and this is more of like a warm tone red. Yeah. So I feel like my, my eye is like frustrated that it's not mm -hmm. matching the reds perfectly. So I'm excited to see what you want to do with these. Yes. I love the like textile. My first idea was this sort of um, leather midi, midi skirt. I think it kind of has a nice edgy look to go with the red and then maybe like um, a band tee or, or something along those lines. Okay, we're gonna find the t-shirt. Rolling Stones, oh that's a good one. That could be a great option. I like the Bob Dylan too. Oh, that's cool too. Nice. Yeah, oh, this is actually really cool. I like how this is um, ribbed, like the boots. Actually, that could be a fun, fun option. My Robert's Western wear bag. Yeah. So this is what we have so far. Very cute. Love it. Yeah. Okay, so I love both of these. I thought these textures would really um, add sort of a fall winter element to the outfit, so we'll try these both and see which of them these work better. 
Okay, so this was with the leopard coat, and I do like it, but I think since the boots are such a statement piece, I really um, want to let them shine more, so I decided to go with the other jacket because they're a little more neutral. I like this coat a lot with the outfit, um, but then I actually changed my mind about the bag because since the coat's kind of big, the bag's also kind of big, I think we want to just do maybe a smaller black bag with the outfit, so let's give that a shot. Yeah, since I was looking for something smaller and black, I think we can just go really classic. Um, I like either of these little coach bags. I think just this one, super nice classic little bag. Okay, completed outfit. rework my wardrobe and reimagine some pieces. So much fun. I yes. really enjoyed it. <laughs> I wanted to find out from Kristen if she has any tips on how to rework your wardrobe. So Sure. So I actually had a little um, reworking of my wardrobe this morning. I had a different outfit picked out, but then I decided I really wanted to wear, so this is actually a dress, and it's a vintage dress from my mom. And I really liked the print, but it was a little flowy through the midsection. Mm -hmm. um, and I tried it with the belt, but also the, um, the armholes were a little wide, um, was showing my bra. So I decided that instead I was going to try it with this little top, and I just slipped it on. I thought it was going to be too voluminous, but it actually worked perfectly. So that's something you can try a little slim fit top over a dress. Cute! I love it! Yeah, I love how you restyled that. Oh, That's thank awesome. You. Thank you, Kristen, thank for, you. for being here thank and you. for helping me out today. Ah, thanks so much for watching, guys. That was so much fun to make. I got a lot of new ideas for how I could style these pieces up. I hope you guys do the same thing. Invite a friend over, let them style up some of your pieces that you might be having a difficult time with, and try to reimagine some of these pieces in your wardrobe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please, and subscribe down below by ringing that bell. And ladies, remember that you are beautiful just the way you are. Bye!